I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. So Steve A. <laughs> Steve A. what up, my boy? What up, my boy? How you doing? What's going down, man? I hear you speaking about the Vikings, dog. <laughs> I hear you speaking about the Vikings, but not only speaking about the Vikings, you hear me? <laughs> you speaking real disrespectful. I'm finna get on your head top and make your head drop. You big biscuit head boy. <laughs> Shut your ass up, man. Enough is enough, dog. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm finna get on your head top, Stephen, eh? Peanut head boy. You hear me, dog? Since you all of a sudden such an expert, huh? About Sam Darnold and the Vikings, you and your little crew and cast. I want to see what they got to say too. Orlovsky, Orlovsky, is it? Dan Orlovsky, is it? <laughs> What's the other dude? I'm kind of disappointed in you, uh, McCarty, McCarty, McCarty. I'm kind of disappointed in you, homie. I'm interested in what Joe Peanut Head ass got to say too, my boy. <laughs> but Stephen A. Smith. It's time for you to shut up. Why are you speaking on Vikings business, Stephen A? Huh? Oh, 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 now Stephen A, no. He knows so much about football. He's Mr. Football, Mr. Know About Football Teams, Mr. Are you, you every time I every time you yap, Stephen A, you always breaking down numbers and analysis. Do you know about football, Stephen A? <laughs> Do you know what makes an elite player great, a good team, a good team? Can you pinpoint a great coach team? Huh? See, that's why all you so-called experts saying you don't believe in the Vikings. They're going to have six wins, four wins, et cetera, et cetera, because you don't understand the chemistry. <laughs> you speaking on Vikings business and you don't understand the chemistry. You don't know them boys on the roster, homie. You don't know the years they put in. You don't know the real inside scoop, dog. You from the outside looking in, thinking you can speak on Vikings business, speak on whatever business you want to. But you speak on Vikings business and matter of fact, Bama business as well. Tread carefully, tread carefully, Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> we finna check the video out. We finna check the video out to see what Stephen A. really has to say. Huh? Huh, Stephen A. Smith? A lot of yapping and capping coming out your mouth, my boy. Speaking on Sam Darnold, you don't know nothing about Sam Darnold. You don't know nothing about his journey, where he been, where he going, dog. Huh? <laughs> you a Viking hater. You a Viking hater, man. Enough of this talk. Let's get into this video and really break it down. I want to see what Stephen A. really got to say, man. All these people talking. Now you got all these so-called Vikings fans, Vikings this, Vikings that. Everybody know about the Vikings. So tired of hearing people capping and yapping about what the Vikings going to do, what they ain't going to do, dog. Let's get into this, man. So they got it twisted out here, my boy. <laughs> yeah. What he got to say? Okay, they got two mm. weeks of he football. The nine mm. teams are two and zero, and a few of them have been surprises. The Vikings have won their first two games of a season for the first time since right. 2016, with Sam Darnold throwing multiple touchdown passes let's in consecutive. It. Sam Darnold, let's get it. Sam Darnold, let's get it, dog. Top five, top five, top five, top five year games. Now, the Bucks pulled off an upset against the heavily favored Detroit Lions on Sunday. Tampa Bay has now started 2-0 for the fourth straight season, the longest active streak in the NFL. And lastly, the Seahawks have won their first two games of a season for the first time since 2020. Their OT win against the Patriots on Sunday marks their third straight overtime victory. DMAC is back with Dan O and Stephen A. I'm going to start with you. Which 2 0 team is least likely to make the playoffs? The Vikings. Now, you heard the question, right? You heard the question, right? <laughs> she said, Which 2 0 team is least likely to, 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 to make the playoffs, homie? <laughs> you hear me? Period. Now, let's hear all their answers, but I want to zone in, zone in on Stephen A. Because I heard he's capping and yapping, baby. Let's get it. The Bucks for the Seahawks. I'm gonna say the Vikings, man. Look at, look at, look. I'm gonna say the Vikings, man. I'm gonna say the Vikings, man. I'm gonna say the Vikings, man. Why, Stephen? Eh? Why you wanna say the Vikings? Huh? Talk. 
Look, 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 man. Look, fellas, man. Look, 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 look. What the hell? Say, you look, Stephen A. You big biscuit head, peanut head, pump. You look, Stephen A. Talking about look, 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 look. No, you look, my boy. You hear me? We're going to break this video down. I'm tired of him always talking about look, look, look. You look, Stephen A. Peanut head, butter biscuit head, pump. Speaking this skull territory, my boy. Talking about stuff you don't even know. You ain't even seen the Vikings play, Stephen A. You don't even know the personnel. You just want to come out the woodwork and say, oh, the Vikings, it's the Vikings. That's the team that ain't making it. That's the team that ain't making it. I don't know. I just want to say it because I hate on the Vikings. Been hating on them. They ain't never been in my top five. Huh? Stephen A. Talking about, look, 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 let me tell shut up. Yeah, hey, I, I know that what we see from Sam Donald is impressive. I get it. I understand. Do you get it? Do you understand? Because, hey, I don't think you do. I don't think most of the world do. Do you really get it, Stephen? Eh? Do you really get it through your thick skull, Stephen? Eh? You talking about what you get. You don't understand what Sam Darnold doing. You don't understand how great he's playing two games in. Uh, don't forget to mention two games in versus one of the top teams in the NFL. Some will say the best team in the NFC. Huh? You calling him a fluke? Boom. But but I will remind y'all that week one was against them damn Giants. That's like a bye week, okay? Okay, Stephen A. What, what, what's your point? Week one against the Giants, Dallas Cowboys. Week one against the Browns. You talked about how good they look, Stephen A. Oh, because it's the Vikings because it was week one versus the Giants. Guess what? We blew the Giants out. The Giants didn't score more than 10 points, just like I said they wouldn't. So what you mean, Stephen A.? What's the difference in the Saints blowing out the Panthers and the Vikings dominating the Giants? The Giants are a better team than the Panthers, right, Stephen A? You big biscuit head, man. Shut up, man. I mean, I, Stephen A, boy. Going up against them or the Carolina Panthers. And by the way, I'm here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm down the hallway from Paul Firebaum Studios. Okay? I'm invading his territory, all right? Okay? I'm here in Charlotte. Well, you, better, you, you better stay in his territory. Could you come to school territory? This school territory, Stephen A. This gold territory, and I'll dominate you. Boy, matter of fact, bring me on your platform, Stephen A. I'll dominate you in any debate, you and whoever else, Stephen A. Bring me on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go head to head, toe to toe, blow for blow, debate for debate, Stephen A. Let's really talk about some things, and I'll destroy you, homie. I'll destroy you, Stephen A. You don't know about the game for real, football for real. You just be following the crowd for the most part, and everybody around you just nut ride you. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. We agree, Stephen A. We agree. You know, Shannon's Sharp, Mr. Shay Shay. That's all he does is agree with you. Yep, yep, Steve, you're right. You're absolutely right, Steve. Licking his lips and shit. Both of y'all sit down somewhere, man. Oh, this nut riding. Mike Flurry already exposed it. Yeah, Mike Florio done exposed it. He talked about the ass kissing and nut riding. So the cat already out the hat, my boy. Talking about territory, the skull territory. You're going to remember, you're going to remember this, Stephen, eh? North Carolina, they got to have something to talk about in this town because football damn sure ain't one of those subjects, okay? I mean, that's like a bye week for anybody else. And the only team that's comparable in their purgatory is the New York Giants at this particular moment in time. Uh, all right, so you get a, you, you, you beat them week one. You did beat San Francisco in week two. I got to give it to you. You're damn right you got to give it to you. You got to. And, and I, I don't care about Christian McCaffrey being out. <laughs> they tried to say the same thing last season. Oh, Christian McCaffrey, <laughs> no Debo, no Trent Williams. Oh, that's the excuse now, Stephen A. <laughs> I already see your lips forming. I heard what you're about to say. Cr cr you're finna say Christian McCaffrey was out. So what, Stephen A? They still had Debo. They still had Kittle. Kittle, who's a Skittle. Matter of fact, I'm going to say George Kittle, no Skittle. I'm going to show the Ram man respect after the game. Respect. We'll see him again and beat him again. They still had Trent Williams, Stephen A. Smith. Since you want to talk about who didn't have this and who didn't have what, Stephen A., let me inform you. Let me get a closer view, Stephen A., so you can feel me and hear me, dog. Let me inform you, Stephen A., you want to talk about what a team had, what a team didn't have? Well, guess what? The Vikings ain't have John Addison. The Vikings didn't have T.J. Hawkinson. Stephen A. Smith, <laughs> So what are you really talking about, dog? Huh, Stephen? A? <laughs> what are we really talking about? The Vikings ain't got half the half of their major weapons, dog. The Vikings had to win the game with Brandon Powell, Jalen Naylor, who was a who was a splendid receiver. Don't let me forget to say that, dog. So what you talking about? You want to talk about injuries? Who didn't have who? Who didn't have what? Who didn't have what? But you get it. You get a 49ers a pass because they didn't have McCaffrey. <laughs> but the Vikings missing two of their playmakers, two of their starters. <laughs> And you and it's all good though. Stephen A, you cat, man. 
You fake it in a three dollar bill, my boy. Believe that. McCaffrey didn't play in that game. Debo Samuel's going to be out. You know what I'm saying? He's not 100% healthy. We get all of that. But in the end, I'm going to give credit where credit is due. I saw that chip pass Sam Donald through to Justin Jefferson 70 yards in the air. It was very, very impressive. I also saw Sam Donald over the previous six years. How about not, not even the 97-yard pass, but the third and eight pass to Jalen Naylor when he threw it over the top of the defender's shoulder? And Jalen Naylor, Speedy's coming. Speedy's coming. Oh, man, he adjusted so quickly and swiftly and so swell and well. So let's now let's talk about that throw too, Stephen, eh? Years. Huh? I'm not a believer as of yet. I'm not rooting against him. Nice kid. Got a real big arm. You're not a believer. Who can believe in you, Stephen? Hey, who should believe in you? Talking about you not a believer. You ain't got to be a, st a believer, Stephen. Hey, you big biscuit pumpkin head pump. You ain't got to believe in nothing around here with the Vikings. Keep hating, keep sleeping. Keep hating, keep sleeping. You hear me? <laughs> Talking about you ain't a believer. Who should believe in you, Stephen? Hey, who should believe in you? Hey, hey, some say you a phony. What you do to Max Kellerman, Stephen? Hey, why you want Max Kellerman up out of there, huh? They say Max Kellerman was dominating you, debate, debate, argument, argument, every morning, every night, every afternoon. The Max Kellerman had you mad, turning red in the face, boy. So who should believe you, Steve? And they believe what about you? Believe you legit? Believe you real? You a true journalist? Huh? Who put you in that position, Steve? And they whose ass you kissed to get there, big dog? You and everybody else. Once again, Mike Florio already exposed everything. Mike Florio talked about the nut riding and the ass kissing. So I ask you again, Steve, and they acting like sitting up in your chair because you got your shining lights and all the resources and the bright lights talking about this and that believe in this believe in who who should believe in you Stephen a smith you ain't believable boy talking about believing you max kellerman out at max max kellerman had you hot in your seat boy huh max kellerman had you on a hot seat boy he was giving it to you every show giving it to you every show boom bam but a bop but a bop Boy, that white boy Max Kellerman was getting down with the lowdown with your ass. And that's why you fired him. That's why he was fired, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the scoop, Stephen, eh? We know the scoop, huh? <laughs> huh? Talking about who and what you believe in. You ain't got to believe in the Vikings. You and nobody else. Matter of fact, after we beat the Texans, keep that same energy, Stephen, eh? Keep that same energy, dog. Talking about I don't believe. Who believe in you? Shice did do. Um, I get all of that. But I'm not sold on what I'm seeing yet. Now, I know a lot of people are because Kevin O'Connor can really, really cope. So who are you sold on, Stephen A? Oh, but you're sold on who? The Buccaneers? You're sold on who? The Saints? The Saints beat the Panthers. Yeah, they blew the Cowboys out. But the Cowboys, they're always questionable, huh? <laughs> you always got to question the Cowboys and their success or their early success, especially playoff time, period, bottom line. So who you impressed? The Seahawks, Stephen A? You impressed with the Seahawks more than the Vikings? Who have the Seahawks beat, huh? <laughs> Broncos the first week. You see what's going on there. Then they beat the Patriots, struggled to beat the Patriots in overtime, in OT. So who? So tell me what's up. You a real Viking hater, Stephen A? You a real Viking hater, huh? Homie, you hear me? The more that I think about it, you real Vikings haters, my boy. Yeah, man. You ain't never gave the Vikings their respect or the respect they deserve. Dog. You always been a Vikings hater. You tater head, biscuit head, pump. Yeah, I'm on your head top, Stephen A. Eh? Huh? You hear me? <laughs> you hear me, Stephen A? Eh? You ain't never rock with the Vikings, my boy. <laughs> Up there capping it. Yeah, talking about you believing these other teams than the Vikings. Huh? <laughs> Heavy, homie. You got to be kidding me, dog. They can just say anything on these platforms and get away with it. No facts, no evidence. It could be erroneous information. <laughs> Heavy. They could be wrong every week. <laughs> get away with it still? All right, bet. I get it. Let's get it. Coach. And this staff is, a, is considered an exceptional coaching staff. And I get that. And maybe we're seeing a new Sam Donald that we're going to be able to revere for you. Ain't no maybe too. We are seeing a new Sam Darnold. We are seeing a new Sam Darnold, Stephen A. Smith. And you know, the thing about it is haters like you, y'all don't like to see it because y'all were the same ones, the same Sam Darnold people saying, oh, Sam Darnold's trash. He can't get it done. He's a bust, even though the situation, every team he went to besides the Niners was a horrible situation. No weapons, piss poor coaching, incompetent coaches, no weapons. Once again, no protection. You hear me? And at times he he still played well. So it's the same goof troop lookers like you, Stephen A., who, who been doubting Sam Darnold, doubting Sam Darnold, dog, period. <laughs> Heavy, homie. So stay on that band. Don't hop on a bandwagon, homie. Stay over there. You hear me? Stay over there. Come. I'm just not sure, guys. Not yet. Not over the other guys you mentioned. Not over Seattle. Not over Tampa Bay. I'm going to say the Vikings are the least likely.
Here we go. Uh, I, I, here you go, McCarty. What you what you gonna say, McCarty? McCarty, what you gonna say, McCarty? You gonna agree with this big biscuit head right here, or, or, or you got your own thoughts and opinions, McCarty? They got they, they got you up there just cheesing and smiling, huh? Oh yeah, you throwing a suit. They just give you a suit and say smile, huh? They just give you a suit and say smile, my boy, huh? Look at Arlowski. Look at Arlowski. Arlowski, I, I, I give him some credit because he is the only one majority of the time that goes against Stephen A when he when he just talking out the side of his neck. But everybody else, I'm surprised they ain't got Shannon Sharp up there. You hear me? Agreeing not in his head. Yes, D. Yes, I agree. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shut up, uh, Shannon Sharp, Mr. Shay Shay. What you got to say, McCarty? And, and, and you a former NFL player, so don't say nothing ignorant. You better not say nothing that sound ignorant and goofy, McCarty. I'm on your head top two. Huh? Tater head boy. I can't agree. I've already agreed with oh, no. Stephen A. enough this morning, so I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna, gonna okay. do it. Hey, everybody <laughs> agree with Stephen A. Everybody rides Stephen A. nuts, homie. Don't nobody check Stephen A. when he wrong. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. Why? Because they're on the payroll, huh? Because they're on the payroll. Oh, I get it. They can't. They can only say too much. Stephen A. Is that what it is, Stephen A.? That's how you did. You pulled the Max Kellerman. That's the same thing you did to Max Kellerman, huh? But Max Kellerman, he ain't back down, Stephen A. No, Max Kellerman. They say he ain't back down. They say was. They say he was on your head top. Frustrating you, making you mad and furious, Stephen A. And and no disrespect, respect to you, Stephen A. Heavy, homie. <laughs> no disrespect to you, but you want to speak on the fights? All right, bet. Let's really get it. Let's get to the nitty gritty, Stephen A. Let's get to the nitty gritty, Stephen A. Since you want to run your yappers about the Vikings, what you talking about, homie? Huh? Score territory, dog. Score fights, win, lose, or draw. Wrong with this dude, hey. And I don't even know who Dan's going with. I'm going to say the Buccaneers on this one. And as much as I love what Baker Mayfield is doing and the receivers on the outside, I don't know if their defense is going to hold up. And I look at the rest of the division. I look at what the Saints have already done through two weeks, beating up on the Dallas Cowboys. After how could it be the Buccaneers? Whatever his reasons are, how could it be the Buccaneers? If we're going strictly off week two, two weeks in, who's two and no? Who, who's the better team? Which team won't make the playoffs? How could you put the Seahawks in front of the Buccaneers when the Buccaneers just beat the Detroit Lions, the NFC championship team last year and this season? So if we're talking about football facts, stats, better team, as far as who should, who, who, who should be the real playoff team, Buccaneers, Seahawks, and Vikings, you hear me? Shout out to the Seahawks. No, no disrespect to the Seahawks, dog. But when we play them, you know what it is, too, as well. You hear me? When we play them, they are the Peacocks. <laughs> you dig me? But how could you put them above the Buccaneers when the Buccaneers just beat the Detroit Lions? All these dudes just be capping some time, dog. I swear, dog. After winning their first game, and then I look at the Atlanta Falcons. I think that win over the Philadelphia Eagles was a step in the right direction. I think as the season goes on, Kirk Cousins gets healthier and healthier, and you're going to see a better Falcons offense to go out there and compete with. On the defensive side of the ball, I still look at them in the secondary, and I still have some question marks with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to see if they can continue to get it done. Liam Cohn has done a really good job coming in, motion before the snaps, and doing some really good things. And Baker has been unbelievable through two weeks in this season. But because of the other guys in the division, I'm still going to say the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on this one. So you course in the Buccaneers secondary, but you don't course in the Seahawks secondary? What's up with it, uh, McCarty? McCarty, what's up with it, dog? You, I, you, I, I think you need to expound more. You can't just say, "Oh, I don't trust their secondary." What makes you trust the Seattle secondary? And they give up twenty something versus the Patriots, who are who are, who are mainly a running team. Then the Patriots just take them to overtime. What's up? Broncos put what twenty something on? That was a close game, a close battle. You know what I'm saying, dog? So what are we really talking about here, man? Heavy. Man, sometimes it's about who you know, not what you know, but who you know, huh? Who you know, huh? I'll say the Seattle Seahawks. I love Geno Smith. I've said Geno's probably. If we're being realistic, talking about two games in, comparing teams, that would be the right answer as of right now. The Seahawks. Comparing teams, comparing offenses, defenses, uh, strength of schedule so far, opponents. You know what I'm saying? It will be the Seahawks, the team you expect not to make the playoffs. That makes the most sense if we're talking about two weeks in. Now we get to October, November. Of course, things may change. But right now, we're talking about right now. Outside looking in right now, who's playing the better football? Vikings are playing better football than the Buccaneers and the Seahawks. The Buccaneers are playing better football than the Seahawks. 
No one's saying the Seahawks won't can't make the playoffs, but this is the question of who's less likely to make the playoffs. Why? And the only one that has made logical sense. We know that peanut head Stephen A makes no sense. He's just a Vikings hater. That's the easy thing to do. Everybody sleep on disrespect the Vikings, but it's all good. After this week, after Sunday, they're going to see, put even, even more respect on the name. We keep that same energy heavy. Oh, yeah. Vikings fans as well. How many Vikings fans act like they knew the Vikings would be good or expected them to be good? <laughs> you hear? <laughs> we know how the game go, though. More, Flo, Mike Florio pointed that out as well with the whole Vikings media, Vikings, all this, that, entertainment, etc. Huh? We know what's up. But the one that makes the most sense is the Seahawks. And I, I, I'm very intrigued on how Orlovsky will break it down. So let's get into it. Probably playing as good as any quarterback in the NFL. Shout out to Orlovsky. Orlovsky, hope I'm saying his name right, Dan Orlovsky, for just having forming his own opinions. You know what I'm saying? Not just going with the wave. Not just going with the Stephen A. wave, dog. McCourty, nah, my boy, you're off. You're way off. Respect to you, NFL player, true vet, Super Bowl champion. Respect you, big dog. But no way your right mind, you being a former football player, can say that you put the Seahawks in front of the Buccaneers at this point in the season. With the team they have defeated, big dog. Period. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. I don't know if she's going to speak up, little shorty right there. Pretty shorty there. How you doing, shorty? Yeah. I don't know if she's going to put her two cents in it. We'll see. Some women know about football. A lot of women don't. Some women be on these platforms, just put their pretty faces for the eye candy, et cetera. Let's be real. Let's not hype. Let's not cap. Some of these women just put there for the eye candy and they look good to look at, homie. Heavy, huh? We forget you forgot. <laughs> Here, shout out to the women who know football and do their job, but but it's mostly just get these certain positions handed to them, handed to them. We know the scoop, we know the four one one, we know what's going on, huh? NFL for two weeks, yeah, probably making some of the more remarkable throws as well. We're not talking about that enough. Stephen A, your Minnesota thought is absolutely absurd. They're two and oh, TJ Hawkinson, their all pro tight end hasn't even played yet. Addison didn't play last week, and they and they, then it beats him. Look at look at look at this, look at this. Look at Steven A making a face. <laughs> like, oh, oh, really? Oh, oh, I didn't know that. I bet he probably didn't even know that. He probably didn't even know TJ Hawkinson was out, one of their best weapons. He probably didn't know he was out for four weeks, dog. Period. Bottom line. He probably didn't even know J.A. was out because he didn't mention it. Yeah, come on, man. He looking, he looking confused and bamboozled. Oh, what? Oh, what? Are you appalled, Stephen A? You didn't know Hawkinson went out, was out? One of their major weapons? <laughs> McCord, do you know, huh? You, you knew, didn't you, big dog? Come on, bro. <laughs> San Francisco. If not for a Fred Warner punch out, I'd like the two yard line. Jones is going to score to make it 24. Man, if, if not for the Fred Warner punch out, it's a 35 to 10 route, dog. Period, dog. Talk to him, Orlovsky. Orlovsky. <laughs> Seven. So that, that was a handling. I think Minnesota's got a chance to have top. Man, we smacked them. We smacked them. We smacked them, boys. You hear me, Orlovsky? Orlovsky say handling. We smacked them, boys, my boy. Six offense and defense in the NFL. Back uh, the Tampa Bay, I don't like necessarily all that disagree with. I love the three teams in that conference or mm -hmm. that, excuse me, that division. Here's why I say Seattle. I watched Seattle week one control the football game for the most part versus Denver, but Denver still had a chance in that game late. Okay, and then. Facts. Close game with Denver down to the wire. No, heavy. That's just facts, bro. In week two, and yes, that play by Geno Smith right here is absolutely remarkable, yeah. by the way. Um, they go to New England and go to overtime, and it's a ticky-tacky pass interference that, like, gives them the best chance to win the game. We'll see New England better than probably a lot of us expected. They haven't played a big-time offense yet. I've watched Tampa Bay go into Detroit last week and win the football. Right. You gotta take that, you gotta take that into consideration. Seattle was the only team you can say so far. They haven't played a good team. Like, like he just said, they haven't played a team with an explosive offense. Huh? What I mean, have, have, have they even played a team with an elite defense here? No disrespect to the Seahawks once again, but we're talking about facts. The facts is Vikings, Buccaneers have beat the higher level of competition thus far, even though it's only two weeks in. We're talking about now. We ain't talking about in October, November. We're talking about right now. Period, dog. A lot of things can happen, can take place before then. Injuries, etc. dog. <laughs> we're talking about right now. And right now, the Buccaneers and Vikings look better than the Seahawks, homie. Dude be capping and Stephen A. He just said the Vikings to say the Vikings, dog. That's, he just love he just love having a having the Vikings name in his mouth. Get our nuts out your mouth. Get they nuts out your mouth, Stephen A. 
Try that, homie. <laughs> game i watched minnesota mishandle san francisco's or dismantle excuse me san francisco's offense i haven't seen the seattle defense play a good good offense yet a really good offense so um, i don't think that this defense in seattle specifically the front seven is as good as maybe the the tampa bay one and certainly the minnesota one i think all three of these teams are going to be solid this year but one if i had to pick I, i'd say seattle because i don't know enough about the defense versus a high-end quarterback or offense yet Oh, you'll appreciate where I'm going to come from with this one, Dan Olaski. Fair enough. I give you, you make a very valid point with your points about uh, the Seattle Seahawks. Congratulations. Miracles do happen. <laughs> let me throw, let, let me throw, let me throw some history from you here. From 2020 to 2022, they had Kirk Cousins, they had Dalvin Cook, they had Justin Jefferson, um, and they also ended up with one playoff game over three seasons. And we had incompetent coaches at times. And we had Kirk Cousins, who's a horrible quarterback in prime time. What the hell are you talking about, Stephen A? You were just capping, bro. How can these people get up here on these platforms and just capping yap because of who they know, dog? Because of the position they was put in, homie. Period, boy. He talking about they had Kirk Cousins and Dalvin Cook. We had we also had an incompetent play calling, uh, uh, offensive minded, a defensive minded head coach who was stubborn. Who had it was issues on the inside, things you don't know about, Stephen. It was, we also went through piss poor offensive coordinators being predictable, a horrible head coach for four years straight down the stretch. You talking about who we had? Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins. When has Kirk Cousins ever won a big game? Did you forget the fourth and eight? Did you forget the fourth and eight, Stephen A? You know, here talking about Vikings business. You don't know what's going on, dog. <laughs> he bringing up 21, 22. What are you talking about, dog? <laughs> the team wasn't on this level. The coaching wasn't on this level. Do you forget we had Ed Donatello in that weak ass shell? <laughs> who is this dude talking about, bro? He talking about who the Vikings had or didn't have. You forget we had Ed Donatello in that weak shell? We only had B flow for two years, my boy. Man, this dude cap, my boy. Since the Minnesota Vikings have been known to have some talent and somehow, some way, not get it done. That's number one. Not get it done because what? Coaching? Bad coaching? Yeah, yeah. You don't know about that, do you, Stephen A? Internal problems? Issues? Man, shut up, my boy. Argument null and void. Nothing. You can't say nothing. You 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 erroneous. Everything you said has been erroneous, Stephen. Eh? Get off the mind. Let's go to, to Sam Donald. This season, thus far, right? Sixty in, in a clean pocket. Sixty-five percent of his dropbacks. Eighty-three com, eighty-three percent completions. Three touchdowns and an interception. When he's under pressure, thirty-five percent of his dropbacks. His completion percentage goes from eighty-three percent to forty-three percent. One touchdown, one interception. That sounds like the Sam Sam Donald that I recall. What? You sound like a goofy. Talking about the Sam Donald you recall. Did the Sam Donald you recall throw 97-yard bombs perfectly in there? Fit it right in the basket? Did the Sam Donald you recall lead the Vikings to a game-winning field goal to clinch the game, complete three third and eight conversions? Not to mention no Jettas, no Addison, no TJ Hawkinson with Brandon Powell and Jayla Naylor. In the game, Johnny Money his as his tight end or Josh Oliver as his tight end. And you talking about what you recall about Sam Darnold. He ain't never been in this position, my boy. He ain't never been in this atmosphere, had these weapons around him. Who you talking to? Who you talking to? You can say that to your colleagues. Don't bring in the skull territory for real. Don't bring that cap in skull territory for real, Stephen. Eh? You hear me? Because you're really finna get me going, dog. Get the hell out of here. You don't know nothing about the Vikings, nothing about Sam Darnold. And with when what quarterback under pressure doesn't doesn't uh throw more incompletion, Steven? Hey, eh? <laughs> what are you talking about, dog? You can look at any quarterback stats or percentages. <laughs> I'm sure that every quarterback percentage will go down when he's under pressure. <laughs> You want to look at numbers. See, people like you love looking at numbers because y'all don't even know how to watch the game and what you're watching when you watch the game, home oh, boy. Huh? <laughs> Talking about numbers. That's all you do. I'll peep you, Stephen. Eh? All you do is sit back and bring your little numbers out. You love to bring your little numbers out, Stephen. Eh? You love to bring your little numbers out. Fuck your numbers, homie. You don't know nothing about the eye test. Who's playing ball? That boy Sam Darnold playing ball. Sam Darnold playing ball. Under pressure, not under pressure. Huh? You want to talk about Sam, but not mention Kirk Cousins. Let's talk about how Kirk Cousins was under pressure as a Viking, dog. Huh? You coming up here capping, man. Get a little poodle head out of here, boy, before you get punted like a punt, dog. Hell wrong with Steve when they coming up in here talking, man. 
That seems like the Sam Donald that I watched over the over his career thus far. Let's not ignore that. Let's not act like that. No, let's do ignore that. We are going to ignore that. You know why we're going to ignore that? Because he's not on the, those same teams, Stephen A. Smith. He has a QB whisperer with him, Stephen A. Smith. He's a different player now, Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> let's not ignore this. Let's not ignore that, man. You cat, my boy. We're going to ignore you. Put you on mute. Take your mic. I'll rip the mic off your jacket, my boy. <laughs> huh? That little nugget of information doesn't matter. With somebody else, fine. Save With him, place. I'm allowed to hold on to it until further notice. Save evidence is evidence. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this biscuit head ass mom. <laughs> evidence is evidence. <laughs> Oh, snap. He feeling good, too. Get up out of here, homie. I'm glad they cut your ass off, homie. <laughs> evidence is evidence. Look at his face. I'm allowed to look hold on to it until further look notice. Same same evidence place. is evidence. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. He a job turkey. Oh, he a job turkey, my boy. Oh, that boy a job turkey, no cap. Oh, man. That's too funny, homie. Oh, man, that's too funny. That's it for the video, man. <laughs> this dude, this dude's cat, man. This dude said evidence is evidence. What? No, the evidence is two games in, Sam Darnold's balling. That's the evidence, Stephen A. Smith. The evidence is he took the Vikings on a game-winning field goal drive without Jettas. That's the evidence, Stephen A. Smith. You punk, chump, jive, turkey, jack. You a smooth, slick cat, man. You ain't fooling me. You ain't fooling me. You fooled him. You ain't fooling me, Stephen. You understand me, dog? <laughs> and once again, no disrespect, but I got to check you, dog, and wreck you, my boy, because you out of pocket, out of line. <laughs> you don't know nothing about Vikings business. Nothing about nothing about Vikings business. Huh? And when, and, and when we beat the Texans Sunday, you keep that same energy. Keep that same energy, dog. You and everybody else. Heavy. Get off the Vikings nuts. <laughs> Heavy, dog. And like it or not, Stephen A., guess what? Sam Darnold, Vikings quarterback, rebirth, reinvented. <laughs> the top five quarterback. Heavy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. How you feel about the video? Feedback is much appreciated. Fire them comments up, huh? Huh? Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell. Big score here. Score Vikes forever. Win, lose, or draw. Woo! <laughs> yeah.